Hello family, greetings to you all and welcome back to my channel. It's your brother, Chief Lamashewi Yepesu Wulana, also known as Prince Ayoko, sending my peaceful and lovely greetings to you all, wherever you are. How are you doing and how is our families at your side doing? I hope you're doing very well. Okay, so I'm back again to work. And what I'm doing today is that, you know, I have to uh, get the compound clean. I have to get the compound clean. And the reason, the reason why I'm doing this is because all my men are very, very busily working. So I think whilst they are working, I have to also do what? Do the cleanup just by helping them for the compound to look tidy. You know, for the compound to look uh, for the compound to look clean. So, family, before I continue, if you are new on this channel, go ahead and subscribe my channel, so that you know when you uh, when you subscribe, you'll be able to learn more about so many things, not only about building, but about so many things, because I share a lot of important you know informations. And when you subscribe, you have to click the notifications bell so that you always get notifications when I post new videos. And please do try to share my contents with your families and friends so that everybody can watch and learn. And you know what? Give my videos a thumbs up. So keep watching. Thank you. You know, Chief likes to dance. Dancing is one of my hobbies. So, dancing. Don't be surprised if you see me dancing and sweeping. <laughs> yeah, it's all about work and happiness. It's all about work and happiness at the most beautiful guest palace in Northern Ghana. That's the most beautiful guest house in Northern Ghana.
I think I will need cleaners when I when I finish this project. So one good thing about this big uh, machine is that when I finish it, it's gonna create a lot of jobs for people. You know, it will create a lot of jobs for people in the community. So that's one good thing about this mansion that I built. Queen's Guest House for Life. So that's how I do it. Yeah, that's how I do it. Making sure that the compound is clean and making sure that you know everything is clean and neat here. The one thing I have to do is that it will take me a couple of days to do the cleaning because all the guest rooms, all the floors to the guest rooms, it's not looking well. <laughs> These guys who are doing the Andrew. Uh, that's how they call it, Andrew. These guys who are doing the Andrew has messed up the floors to the guest room. So um, I think I don't blame them because they are waiting to finish everything before they do the cleaning. And when I look at it like that, I say, no, I have to do the cleaning myself. All right, so keep watching. So that's the compounds to the guest rooms. And you can see how you know, nice it is. Very, very nice. The tiles that I chose for these guest rooms is very, very beautiful. Very, very beautiful tiles. And you know, one good thing about this house is that the guys who are doing the job, they are really taking their time to do the job. So everything is coming along. Very neat and very nice. Everything is coming up along very neat and very nice. And I appreciate them for, for the professional job that they did here. To all my workers, I say thank you all for the wonderful job. I really appreciate you all. For if when someone do something for you which you think is you know is good, you have to show appreciation. For all, you know, me paying them and everything, I have to show that, you know, I appreciate whatever they are doing or whatever they did. And that is one thing about me. When people do something that is good to me, I never, you know, stop showing them appreciation. So that's why I always say that, you know, we are all one people. We are all one people under, you know, one umbrella. So, and therefore, we have to always, you know, respect each other and show much, much love and appreciation to each other. Especially whenever people do good things to us. So, um, that's exactly what I'm doing today, just cleaning up the place. So the, this particular cleaning that I'm doing right now is just temporary. It's just temporary. When they finish the work, we're going to mop all the guest rooms and mop all the compound and just make sure that everything is in order. My electrician was also here today to fix the sockets. So we've started fixing the sockets. And this is the socket that I decided to use. So here, 
they they have to chisel it a little bit before they fix this socket so my guys will come back and apply the undue there to fix this particular small scratch that we had on the wall and I, I like the switches that I chose so these are the switches that I chose for the guest rooms very very nice switches so this switch for instance is a switch for water heater you know this is the this is the uh, bathroom so this is a switch for the water heater and this particular switch has not been fixed yet so it is going to be a switch for the lights this will be the switch for the lights to the that is the washroom at this guest room so that is guest room number one and this particular switch that uh, socket that you see here will be like plugs for you know tv and other gadgets so that is how it is so most of the switches for the lights hasn't been fixed because we have plans for adding additional bulbs to the guest rooms so that's why we've not been we've not fixed the or i mean all the switches yet but i make sure that i make enough provision for sockets so that uh people who are living here will be able to plug everything that they want to plug to the sockets so as you can see this is another socket so this guest room alone has socket number one socket number two socket number three and socket number four this will be the side of the bed so this will be a socket this will be you know switch for lights and then this one will be switch for ceiling fan and this will be switch for the air conditioner so that means when you are on bed when you are on bed here in this guest room you can have access to all your switches and your you know your plugs that you need in the room so you can control all the lights the air condition and everything whilst you are laying on top of your bed that is one that is how i personally plan this particular uh guest room so so far so good we are coming to the end of the project just like that it has been a very wonderful journey it has been a very successful journey and it has been a very you know good experience so you see the sockets that i'm talking about so that is the sockets this is guest room number two and you know the, the, the sockets and the switches that guest room number one has guest room number two also got all of it so what I'm just going to do is to just continue with my cleaning. As I told you, you see how the floors is messed up. So when I clean this, this tiles is very, very beautiful. When I clean it, I'll show you update about what it is. So this is the washroom for guest room number two. Uh, guest room number two. That's the washroom. And you can see this is the socket for the water heater and this one will be socket uh switch this one will be switch, uh, sorry this is the switch for hot water that is you know warm or hot water and this one will be switch for lights the reason why i place it i i, I installed it outside the washroom is because it is not safe to have all of these switches inside the guest room because you know uh and uh, this electricity that we're using here is very powerful so it is it can kill a person within a twinkle of an eye so it doesn't like to have contact with water so and therefore uh, this is an advice that i'm gonna advise anyone who is watching this video whenever you are building your house don't put the switches inside the washrooms or the bathrooms but just place them closer to the entrance of the bathroom so that you know you will be safe and every, your gadgets will be safe and your house will also be safe as well so that is what i'm doing today i've been saying bathroom or washroom washroom but you did not see how the inside looks all of these places is yet to be cleaned very well as you can see we even kept some things here my carpenter hide his tools here so what we have to do is that we'll get time 
to clean all of these washrooms and everything. That is after we install the toilet seaters and everything that, you know, the shower heads, the urinal pores, and everything that is supposed to be here. So pretty soon we're gonna do all of that and, you know, uh, work will start. So uh, I'm so glad that, you know, I've been able to stay focused to work on all of this. I mean, to put all this work together. I'm very, very glad about that. This means that when we stay focused, we can achieve anything that we want in life. So one good thing about building is that we have to stay focused. This is the room that I was cleaning before I went into the compound because I'm still waiting for Brother Salihu to finish up whatever he's doing. And Brother Salihu is doing a, a very wonderful job. All of them are doing a very wonderful job, especially Brother Salihu. Uh, see how Brother Salihu has changed this guest room. Wow. Wow. This is, this is really a palace. This is, <laughs> this is the palace. Yes. You see how I personally took my time to design this house. This place will be a small space for dining, at least for two people. So this particular space that you see here will be a space, a dining hall, just some small dining hall for two people. Yeah, and it's coming along very well and very nice. So as you can all see the series, they took their time to do, do some professional work here. So everything is coming along here very nicely. Like I told you, when I clean all these styles, you're gonna see how beautiful it will be. And Brother Salihu is taking his time to uh, just polish up the TV stand that I uh, make my, you know, my plaster of Paris guy, the guy who is doing the plaster of Paris, that is the POP. The, I, I make him to do all of these TV stands so that, you know, uh, it can be able to add some more beautiful, uh, some more beauty to the guest rooms. So Brother Sally is also here, just polishing it up and making it look so nicely. So you see, Africa has really got some good talents that, you know, we have to appreciate. Brother Salihu, how are you doing? Say hello to my viewers. That's my subscribers of YouTube, my YouTube family. Say hello to them. So how long have, have you been learning this work? One year. One year. Then you are doing a very wonderful job because your master is not there. You can do almost what he's doing. He taught you. Yeah. Yeah. Are you from where? Where from you? No, from Cote d'Ivoire. You are from Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah. Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast. Which part of Cote d'Ivoire? Abidjan. Abidjan. Yeah. So what do you like about Ghana? Uh, I like Ghana because the English uh, they comfort me. The, 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 me because. You see how they speak the English. I'm going inside very well. You don't. You don't speak good yeah, English. Very well. You French speak French. Yeah, French is my language. French is your language, yeah. but you have some African language. You know, yeah, French yeah. is not our language yeah, as Africans. Yeah, yeah. What is the name of your language? That's the uh, Mandinka. Mandinka. Mm, the, the color again, Jula. Mandinka, right? A Jula. A Jula. Yeah. A Jula. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. So, do you like Ghana? Yeah, I like it. Do you like Ghana? Yeah. What do you like the most about Ghana? The most about Ghana. Didn't get you. I mean, what do you like? What do you like about Ghana? Oh, brother, Sally like, English. Like comportment. That's why I say I'm not inside well. Ah, okay, okay. Hopefully, when you when you start to speak English, okay. yeah, because it's like you are really feeling something about Ghana, and that's why I was asking you. So thank you so much, and keep working, bro. You guys are the future leaders. So work hard. Africa need men of your kind to build it. So yeah, so let's all keep doing whatever we can do to uplift Mama Africa. And I'm really proud of you guys because at your age, you know, uh, family, this guy at his age, what he is doing is, you know, is so good. 
before he becomes an adult or before he becomes a responsible person, that is before he gets married or whatever, he, you know, before, be, let's say before he gets to at least his 30s to 40s, he already know what he has for, uh, he wants to have for living, which is what he's doing. So this is one thing that I always encourage my brothers and sisters to do. Yeah. Brother Sally, how old are you? I'm 24. You are 34? 24. 24? Yeah. Oh, 24 years. Yes. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you are really doing some good job here. I like that. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yeah. So, family, like uh, I was telling you, these are the switches. See, that's how we decided to do it. My guys will come over on Saturday to finish it. So they will come over and install the other switches that is left. So, so far, uh, everything is coming along very nice. And the plants is also progressing very, very, very well. You know what? We've not been having rainfall for the past almost two weeks. But uh, I apply water to my plants each and every day. So that is why you've seen that the plants, some of the plants has even started to bloom some new flowers. And I love the flowers. Yeah, the plants is making it. Yeah. Elisha, yes. how are you? I didn't see you well today. Yeah. Huh? Yes, yes. You finish work? Yes. Yeah. So you see Elisha. Elisha is a Togolese. He's from Togo. Say hi to my YouTube family. Yeah, hi. <laughs> yeah these are some lovely guys. Our neighboring country, Togo and Ivory Coast. That is La Côte d'Ivoire. Those guys are here, you know, build, helping us to build Mama Ghana and Mama Africa. So you see... They are very young guys, but they can do whatever, you know, they can do some things, things that some adults cannot do. Yeah, so I'm very, very proud of them and I appreciate them so much for doing this wonderful job for me. I truly appreciate them so much, so very much. So, you see the broom I'm using, that's the broom I use for the cleaning. So, um, it's just... Some easy things that I'm here doing. The one thing I like about it is that when I clean, when I work like this and get, you know, and sweat, when I work and sweat, it makes me happy. You know, it makes me understand what I'm doing. That means I'm really working out. So sometimes, uh, I not sometimes. Okay, so this is how I do. When I work, I take the work that I do as my workout. So I don't need to go to the gym or whatever because when they break the number of work that we do here or the amount of work that we do here is much more than someone who is spending his or her entire life at the gym. So here we are just doing it manually. We don't have machines for, for sweeping or for cleaning. This is how we do it, manually. Just by the use of these brooms to, to, to sweep. And there are some other brooms too. Those brooms are some stick, small sticks that we, we bend to use to sweep. But that one, when you use it so much, it makes you have some kind of waste space. So this one is much better. So that's how we do it. Just clean it. Just cleaning the Cleaning beautiful guest house in northern Ghana. So that's how we do it. That's exactly what we have to do. So you see how dirty the compound is. You can see how dirty all of this. <laughs> all this the mess that these guys has brought into this compound. But no, that is fine. I don't get upset when people work for me and just you know, make the place messy. I only get upset when they work and get it messed up and did not clean it after they work. For that part, I'll be upset. But when they are still working and not cleaning, I do understand them because they are always busy when they are working. 
all right so family this is where i'm gonna come to the end of today's video thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your time thank you so much for your support i appreciate you all and i love you all you know what let's keep pushing through and let's keep working hard everything is gonna be okay i'm so glad that you know you are watching to those who are putting up you know some good ideas on the comment section thank you all to those who are you know supporting thank you all to those who are watching thank you all and what i'm going to tell you is that when you have any question please leave it on the comment section so that I will, I will attend to read and give you the answer. So thank you so much for watching. And I love you once again. And I appreciate you so much. And I just want to let you know that keep the vibe going, 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 going. You know, keep the positive vibes going. Together we come. United we stand. Divided we shall fall. Or divided we fall. I love you all. Have a wonderful and productive day. Mm -hmm. Peace and blessings.